Good day everyone, this is your friend Jake and in this tutorial video we will answer one of the request machine problem to be solved by one of our subscriber Quotient in Modulus in C++ Before we start, I would like to say thank you very much to all my subscribers in my channel If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button Don't forget to share and please click the notification bell Select all so that you will be notified with my newly uploaded video So let's get started I'm using Dev C++ as my integrated development environment in writing my program in C++. So we have here a comment, quotient underscore modulus dot cpp. So what the purpose of this program is that it will ask the user to give two numbers and then it will compute for the quotient or in other terms divide the value of two numbers and then we will be using the the quotient operator that is slash and then the modulus operator so modulus is an operator in C++ to check if there is a remainder between two numbers so I have here two websites which you can download free source code the first one is www.jkrpomperada.blogspot.com and then the other one is jkrpomperada.com and then right now, I'm accepting programming jobs, software development, IT consultancy, web development, mobile development. You can reach me in my personal email address, jkrpomperada at gmail.com. Thank you very much. So line number 8, we are including a library file, iostream. This library file is very important in every C++ program because it allows us to use function that like console out console in for input output and then line number 10 and 11 we have the declaration of four variables which has a data type of integer when we say integer are those values that can have only positive negative including zero whole numbers so the first variable we have a second b quotient and modulus and then line number 13 is int main. Int main in every C++ program, it is the starting and ending point of our program execution. 14, we have here the left curly bracket. And then we have here steady out to new line, the title of our program, quotient in modulus in C++. 17, line 17 to, to new line, backslash n. And then 18 and 19, we are asking the user to enter two numbers which will be stored in our variable A and B. Take note, we have here the backslash T for horizontal tab. And then here, new line number 20, 21 to 23, we display the quotient between A and B. So we simply use the slash now for quotient or division A over B. And then line number 24 up to 26, we are using the percent for modulus for A and B. And then end of program in 27, line 30, at 30 uh, 29 up to 30. So informing the user that has, the program has been ended. Don't worry guys because I will put a link in the description below where you can download the complete source code of this uh, video tutorial on quotient and modulus in C++. Let us go to execute, compile and run. Quotient and modulus in C++. Enter two numbers. Let's say 110. The quotient between 110 is 10. The modulus between 110 is 0. There is no remainder in a program. Another example. Run 100. 3 and 10 so the quotient between 103 and 10 is 10 the modulus between 103 and 10 is 3 because of 3 number and of program so this is the end of our tutorial video guys I hope that you learned something new on how to create quotient in modulus in C++ how to use the slash operator for quotient and percent operator for modulus uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and please support me channel guys if you are new by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake Singh. Bye bye for now.